Hey guys, I'm Leviatross, and McDonald's has arrived. Now, if you don't know what that means, don't worry. I'm going to give you an overview that gives you everything you need to know about this new marketing campaign. So, first of all, the name McDonald's is because in anime and manga, a common parody of the McDonald's restaurant is called McDonald's, and this shows up in a variety of anime and manga series. So, for this new marketing campaign, they're embracing the parody name and calling themselves McDonald's. Now, this campaign involves both new packaging, as you can see, as well as a new limited time sauce. And starting today and for the next three weeks, each Monday, McDonald's is releasing a new manga chapter and anime short. These are being brought to you by pairing up with manga artist Eki Bright and the animation studio, Studio Pro, the studio behind the Bleach, Naruto, and Yu Yu Hakusho Show anime adaptations. Only one of these is available so far, but they will be covering action, romance, mecha, and fantasy, so you'll get quite a variety of genres covered by the McDonald's character. And in case you're wondering what the Japanese characters next to McDonald's say, in Japan, McDonald's is known as Makaduranadu, and so, similarly, they're renaming it to Wakaduranadu for this limited time event. So, let's go through the McDonald's experience as any customer would. So, first off, we're going to know some new packaging that's clearly anime or manga inspired. Now, the packaging on that bag is a bit simplistic, but for the larger bag, they went a bit more all out. So you get a full manga page on the front. On the side panel, you get another panel of manga art. And on the other side is a different page of manga art. But I saved the best for last because on the remaining side panel is a collage of the cast of characters that will be in the McDonald's anime and manga adaptations. Now, I think everyone's char favorite character so far has been Berg. And if his head actually physically was a cheeseburger, I think I'd be agreeing with them. However, it's an employee in a costume, which I think is a little disappointing. That's not another species, a person the same race as Mayor McCheese. So for now, I think my most anticipated character is going to be the Mecha Wickdizer 3000. I'll reserve my final opinion once everything has been released and I can make an informed decision. But for now, Wickdizer 3000, most excited for. Now, there aren't any new menu items to the collaboration, which if they brought the melon sodas with ice cream over from Japan, I'd be very excited about, but I digress. We do, however, get a new limited edition McDonald's savory chili sauce. So it gets its flavor from the ginger, garlic, soy sauce, and chili flakes. So let's go ahead and give it a sample. Now, for trying out a new sauce from McDonald's, I think the best thing to sample it with is going to be the classic McNuggets. Oh, I'm sorry, Wick Nuggets. <laughs> so embarrassing of me. So let's do the grand reveal breaking the gold seal and I don't want to tilt this towards the camera and accidentally spill it all over my keyboard but there it is so it's a bit of a dark red and there are some chili flakes in it not too heavy but let's go ahead and see how it tastes so let's dive in now let me clarify in the interest of being a fair judge I did reheat the nuggets a little bit to bring them up to a fresh warm temperature that way the sauce is not getting docked because the nuggets cool down while I was filming the beginning part of this so, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Alright, I think that's a fair amount. Aerate it. Warm it up. It is a little spicy, and I can definitely taste that like soy sauce a little bit. And it's a bit sweet. And sweet and spicy, I think, is pretty good. I don't think this is going to appeal to everyone. That soy sauce... That ginger, it does have a bit of a strong, it is noticeable. It's not something that's like, oh, it's in the background. It is pretty prevalent, but I think it's pretty good. I'll definitely be trying this out a few more times while the promotion's going. But, you know, I think once it goes away, I'm not going to feel like, oh, I there goes my like number one default sauce. I'm glad it's here, but I don't think it's going to be something that people are going to be placing above the classics, like the sweet and sour sauce or anything like that. But let's go ahead and do another bite. Okay. Yeah, I think my first bite impressions were pretty consistent. You know, I think the same thing. I am interested in trying more of it. But like I said, I don't think this is going to be anyone's new favorite sauce. And I don't think they're going to be really upset when it goes away in a month or so. But I'm definitely glad to have something new and to have some new food items with this event rather than just marketing. Now to reiterate, this is a spicy sauce, and so to play it safe, you might want to have a sweet and sour sauce on backup in case your kid is begging for a, Mc a McDonald's sauce in their Happy Meal, because I can't imagine kids really enjoying this. And to be fair, I think the average American is not really going to be into it either. I think it's a bit too different, a bit too spicy and gingery for mass appeal, but I'm definitely glad that they gave us something different 
to go with the collaboration. Now that we've experienced the new savory chili McDonald's sauce, the next thing to do is check out the new anime and mega short. So to do that, you're going to have to scan the QR code on the packaging in order to access the McDonald's.com site and be able to unlock the new chapters. I've already taken care of that. So when we get to the site, we can scroll down and now we have the manga chapter and the anime short available. So when you click the link, it'll download the manga short as PDF. And now we have access to the 24 page Eki Bright McDonald's manga adaptation called The Race to McDonald's. So let's go ahead and give this a read. The Race to McDonald's. This is irresistible. Try new savory chili McDonald's sauce now. Now I better get going. A new flavor, huh? What astonishing sauce. It's completely irresistible. Your spine. Sorry to say, but that sauce will be tasted by me first. Do as you like, but I'll be the first. We'll see about that. Only when the dust settles will the true winner be revealed. How long does this jungle go on? You're taking your time, aren't you? I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ah, he got me. Is catching up impossible now? Could this be the end? I can't give up here. I wasn't expecting the McDonald's short to be so emotional. Surely she can't catch up now. I've won. Huh? What's that? The jungle is parting? Her arms are so fast. Are they really slicing through the trees? A sauce this bold can only be mine. Don't make me say it again. Only when the dust settles will the true winner be revealed. And that is... Me! <laughs> Alright, didn't expect that transformation. Ready, set, go! That was easier than expected. Hey, Slowpoke. What? You gotta be kidding. Unlocking your true potential isn't something only you can do. <laughs> All right. You've come. That's more like it. So they're running through the city streets now. There's McDonald's. What's that? Huh? Oh, tragedy at the last moment. Does this mean we both win? Welcome to McDonald's. Care for some McDonald's sauce? Bite. A masterpiece. I thought we were rivals. Everyone wins when you can enjoy McDonald's sauce. It's true, but if we raced, I would win. Woof. <laughs> no McDonald's. <laughs> Alright. You know, I mean, I think it's a McDonald's promo. I like, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but I think it's more fun than I would have ex anticipated. I wasn't expecting 24 pages. I'm glad that they actually made like a full comic book. I was anticipating for them to do like six pages or like maybe four and call it a day. But I'm glad they really put in the effort and made like 24 pages. The only criticism I can give is that there's a typo in the copyright, which I don't know how they missed that. They accidentally put McDonald's. I don't know what that is, but I hope McDonald's looks into this. So next up is the anime episode, which is a 30 second short. So let's go ahead and dive in. It looks like it's going to be the same story from the manga adaptation, but let's see the, how, if they adapted it properly and didn't lose the heart and soul of the story. Try new McDonald's sauce now. Now? Huh? The race to McDonald's is on! Yeah! Hmm. Okay, I mean, it's a pretty faithful adaptation, so I'm glad as a fan of the manga, I was like, oh, if they change it, if they change the story or the outcome of it, a few wins first, I'm going to be so livid. It definitely takes a lot more work to make an anime adaptation than manga. And while they, I'm alone at this point, they get to use my professional voice acting for the characters, I'm glad that they made this as well. And so I think they did a pretty good job of adapting the story. Although I will say people who have only seen the anime aren't true fans because they kind of miss out on epic moments like Hashirune running through trees, chopping them down with their arms. But the themes and meaning of the short go deeper than just a story between two people racing to get the sauce. Because the main woman's name is Hashirune and Hashirune means to run or to hurry to. And Mateiro's name is similar to Mateiro Yo, which means just you wait and see as a threat. So there's a lot of layers and symbolism throughout this manga short and a lot of subtext that is going to go underappreciated by mass audiences. But for those who really care about the stories of McDonald's, we are out there and we're paying attention. 
So that's going to wrap it up for this experience of McDonald's so far. And I will say there is one last thing that's coming, but it's something I will not get to experience because they're having an immersive dining experience for McDonald's, but it's only available in Los Angeles, California, and on two days, March 9th and 10th. So while I would love to be there and get to experience McDonald's in all its glory, unfortunately, I don't see that happening. However, I will definitely be keeping up weekly with the manga and adaptation shorts and experience as much as I can. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you learned a lot, maybe more than you wanted to about McDonald's, but hopefully you had some fun along the way. If you'd like to see me cover the upcoming manga and anime shorts, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to show your interest. And if you'd like to see more anime adjacent content featuring me, then feel free to check out my series where I've been playing through Persona 4 Golden in real time for the last 321 days, one day at a time, live. I'll see you guys next time.